Joining me now is Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator Cotton, if Biden's speech in Georgia was a disaster, what do we call this depressor? <laughs> totally clueless, Laura. I mean, the president is completely detached from reality and the kitchen table issues that matter to Americans. He's claiming that inflation is under control, that shelves at the grocery stores are restocked, that we're gonna get COVID under control soon if you just keep wearing masks and we keep demanding people show their vaccine cards. Uh, none of these are what people are experiencing across Arkansas or across the country. I think it's ironic that I'm standing here tonight in the Senate when the Democrats are trying to make it illegal for a state to require identification to vote so you prove you are who you say you are. Yet if we wanted to walk across the street and get a hamburger at a restaurant in Washington, D.C., we'd have to show our vaccine card and our identification card just to get a hamburger to eat. That's how detached these Democrats are from reality. Well, I know a lot of people in D.C., Senator Cotton, who are refusing to eat in D.C., and these are vaxxed people. They just don't want to be part of this new show me your papers mentality. And a lot of them are hightailing it across the bridge to Virginia to eat. I think they're going to lose a huge amount of business. I don't wish it on any small business owner. They've been hammered, but uh, they've got to just make their voices heard. Uh, by the way, on the next election um, and what Biden is already forecasting about that, he began today to undermine the results of 2022 before they even came in. Watch. Do you still believe the upcoming election will be fairly conducted and its results will be legitimate? Well, it all depends on uh, whether or not we're able to make the case to the American people that some of this is being set up to try to alter the outcome of the election. You think that they would in any way be illegitimate? Oh, yeah, I think it easily can be, be illegitimate. Well, Senator Cotton, uh, I thought questioning the integrity of elections was was the beginning of encouraging an uh, insurrection. So are we going to have a 119 commission now? Like, what are we going to yeah. do here? That's unbelievable. Well, it's it's amazing that J Joe Biden is accusing Republicans, not just here in Washington, but across the country, who want things like voter ID and who don't want ballot harvesting, of impeding our elections, and that if we don't give the Democrats their election takeover bill, then the elections won't be legitimate. That is exactly what Joe Biden has been accusing us and accusing the former president of doing in 2016 and 2020. Joe Biden has either lost his mind or he is lying to the American people because what he is saying about elections it is completely false. It's the big lie that the Democrats are propagating across the country that somehow states like Georgia or Iowa or Texas have adopted laws that are making it harder to vote or suppressing the vote. They are simply making it harder to cheat, and the Democrats apparently don't like that. Well, Senator Cotton, there was a word a couple of days ago that Senator Amy Klobuchar had met with some senior White House officials about just how things were going on the various you know, bills and initiatives. And her staff came away very frustrated with these senior White House staffers. Are you hearing any scuttlebutt uh, among your colleagues on the Hill about Democrat frustration with what is an obviously incompetent senior staff at the White House? I mean, they've got to restaff that whole place. Yeah, there's a lot of frustration uh, with the president in the White House. I hear privately from Democrats and frankly about Chuck Schumer as well. Many Democrats think that he's afraid of a primary by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. That's why he's pushing this radical election takeover bill and hanging so many of his members out to dry. I also heard today a lot of members who were astonished that Joe Biden would not only refuse to express any regrets about the impotence and the incompetence he displayed in Afghanistan, which has, by the way, emboldened Vladimir Putin to prepare for an invasion of Ukraine. He also basically greenlighted Vladimir Putin to invade Ukraine when he started speculating about minor incursions. Many Democrats here in the Senate were astonished that the president had no regrets about the debacle in Afghanistan and that he is basically rolling out the red carpet for Vladimir Putin to go into Kiev. Well, Senator, it, it, was, it was shocking. If Trump had said any of these things, they would have been, I mean, there would have been pitchforks out. Uh, we appreciate it, Senator. We'll be watching tonight and covering the, uh, you know, this ill-fated effort on the, on the filibuster and all the other nonsense that Chuck Schumer is trying to do.